Hi everyone, welcome to Heifer and welcome to the Cold Guide Hall. Um, so this is the Cold Neutron Triple Axis instrument, uh, CG4C. Um, so as the name suggests, this is composed of three axes. So the first axis is the monochromator that sits back behind all of this shielding. The monochromator is simply a collection of crystals um, that scatter neutrons to select a particular neutron energy so that we get one neutron energy beam that comes out. The second axis is the sample axis and it sits here. Um, so rotating everything around the sample axis will select a particular point in momentum space, a particular Q that we want to measure. Um, on the sample table, we can put a variety of different sample environments, everything from very low temperatures, very high temperatures, magnetic fields, pressure, things like that. And then the final axis is the analyzer, um, which is very similar to the monochromator. It works exactly the same way by selecting a single neutron energy that comes off the sample into the detector. So we can select a single neutron energy coming in, a single point in Q space, and a single energy coming out to select one point in momentum energy space that we want to measure. So you can see the analyzer um, through here and then the detector back there. So we use software to control all of the motors that you saw for those instruments to rotate all of those axes. So we can then pick out that specific point in Q energy space that we want to measure. We can write scripts to scan those different motors so that we can scan over a region that we want to measure. So for example, our data can then drive over that point in reciprocal space to measure peaks um, both elastically and inelastically. Now, because the sample um, can be very small and we want to reduce the amount of background that we have, all of the components that you saw are shielded um, from stray neutrons. They're also intended to direct only neutrons coming out of the beam um, into the detector. So we use things like apertures um, and collimator boxes like this um, to guide all of the neutrons in straight lines between those different axes. Now the crystals that we measure um, are generally single crystals um, because we're looking at different points in Q energy space. Now elastic signals tend to be quite strong, but inelastic, the signal can be thousands of times weaker. So we need very large single crystals to measure, or we need to co-align a bunch of small crystals like this um, to get the signal that we need to measure the inelastic signal. So when we're ready to measure our crystals, um, we'll put them inside cans um, with specially controlled atmospheres or on the ends of sample sticks that will then get loaded into the cryostats uh, or furnaces that you saw. Um, those will then go right here on the sample table so that we can measure them. And finally, when we're ready to do our measurements, um, we can restrict access to the instrument and we can turn on the shutter in order to enable neutrons to come down the beamline um, and scatter off of our sample.